So I did not even realize till after I just recorded the video that there is a whole nother part of a track over here. This is an abandoned Supercross track that I did not see while recording this video. So the gameplay for me playing this did not make it into the video, but it is here and it is amazing. So please, Cool Whip, let's get some timing gates on this, man. This thing is phenomenal. I absolutely loved this abandoned Supercross track. So I wish we could get some timing gates on it, man. If you can update it and do that, that would be amazing. My apologies for not getting the gameplay into the video of this, guys. Um, I just wanted to hop on here real quick before I put it, put up the video and let you know it is here. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's your boy Smokestay here, back at you with another video. And today we are on Lost Pond MX by the man Cool Whip. Now this track is free right now on MXB Mods and it is very deserving of you going and downloading it. And I am going to be running this in the server tonight. Now the layout that he chose for this track is very good and the overall track quality is phenomenal. He could have done a, bit, a little bit better of job of, you know, adding some more visual, um, visual things around like tents and and people and stuff like that but other than that man very 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 good job like he did an amazing job the track is very fun to ride and it flows very well now i feel like it's an intermediate track because he did a very good job of balancing um you know an easier layout with kind of roughness scattered around it you know what i'm saying so the track is not smooth everywhere but it is um very fun to ride now i do like this part as well he added a sand section to the track which i always love tracks that you know have one little sand section mixed into it it adds a little a little spice to it you know what i'm saying somewhere where um you know people may not be the greatest at sand so it gives you an opportunity to have a little section where you can catch up if you can you know master that side of things but overall, man, the, the quality of the track is very good. The rideability of the track is even better. And um, it's just a very fun track to ride. And I actually appreciate the fact that it's not 100% smooth everywhere. You know what I'm saying? It's got, it's got the roughness to it that, um, that I've grown to like. Now, it's nowhere near rough like Mouse Moto Park or any of those tracks. But it is still, you know... It'll kick your bike around if you're if you're not ready for it. So now in every corner it does seem like you have more than one line choice. It has a berm built up on the edge along with a couple tiny ruts on the inside. Um, the ruts on the inside you probably could have been built up a little bit better, but other than that, man, the the the, the overall quality of the track is is very good and it rides amazing like it's a very wide open fast track and i love this section right here so you have the choice where you go just hit the massive triple and the other option we will hit on the next lap now the other option is a, a smaller jump going up the hill and then you kind of roll over which i feel like that section is probably going to be for the 250s i don't know if the 250 can get over the big jump on the right side over there but it is definitely a very fun track so it's on mxb mods right now man definitely worth going and picking up and um i would suggest to go pick it up for sure um we haven't had a whole lot of free tracks that have this kind of ride ability and and the potential to offer some very good racing and um i feel like in a minute you know hydra hill might have been the last free track that had some very good raceability built into the track so definitely worth going and picking up definitely worth uh checking out because you're gonna have you're gonna have uh, a blast on it and if you're newer you might struggle with it a little bit but i also believe that it will make you better because like i said it's not smooth everywhere which is also a good thing it makes it it makes it easier for not easier it makes it nice for people who are more advanced at the game to still have fun while riding it and one thing i really enjoy about the track is the width is very nice um 
having that little extra room, especially in pub lobbies, man, because those pub lobbies, oh boy, those pub lobbies get out of hand. They really do. But um, one thing I, I wanted to talk about today was the fact that Stratos has been doing a podcast. So the first podcast Stratos did was with Kelso. And then the second one was with Nico. And I got to admit, here, we'll go, uh, we'll go over on the left here and check this out. So you can triple up this way. And then you kind of roll over right here. And then you can hit the inside rut instead of the outside rut. And, and, and that's a very viable line as well, which I think will offer very good balance between the 250s and 450s. Now, obviously, this track's a pretty wide open track, so if you're on the 450, you're going to have the advantage. You know what I'm saying? Um, kind of like uh, countryside. But um, back to the podcast. So the podcast that, that Stratos has done is so awesome, bro. And he had Nico on it. And it offered a lot of insight for me into like just where Nico's come from, what he does for the game. And after watching that podcast, I have a, a whole new level of respect for Nico and the things that he does and the things that the team um, around him does for the game. The game would not be in the position that it's in right now. If it wasn't for the people like that, you know what I'm saying? And and um, there's been people, you know, they'll, they'll call him greedy and and this, that, and the other. But at the end of the day, with how much he does, you know, uh, I, wasn't, I was not aware, you know, he has a family and works full-time job outside of this. So this is more of like a passion project. And the money that he gets goes back into, you know, the server side of things and into the game and the things that he is doing for the game so it was awesome to watch stratos's podcast and just really get a feel for you know the guys behind the scenes that give us those kind of things you know what i'm saying um nico yeah he seems like a very good guy and and i don't think he gets enough credit for everything that he does i know i definitely did not give him enough credit up until i watched that and kind of just got the understanding for who he was and what his intentions were and what he you know uh what he does like at the end of the day man he's just somebody that loves the game as much as us and and tries to improve it you know because poboso is not there improving it like the way that he should so um it was also cool to get an insight to like the earlier days of mx bikes before it was on steam and um the things that had happened i was not aware that the multiplayer servers went down at one point uh i think he said it was like beta 12 and the servers went down for like 18 months before Poboso fixed it that's absolutely wild now he also made a pretty big announcement last night and said that there is going to be a whole new way to race in mx bikes and it will make the game feel like refreshing and, and I forget the exact terminology he used, but in my mind, the way that I interpreted that was, it's gonna be, and it's gonna be through, uh, I think my, I don't know if he said my MXB or MXB mods, but the way I interpreted that is he's gonna offer something similar to Papiti. I, I wanna say it might be something like a ranked or something along those lines. Um, so that's gonna be super awesome, man. I mean, like the way that the direction of the game's going and and with how much he does for it, I have an all new level of respect for that man. And um, that's off to him, man. You know, um, I, did, I never realized how much went into holding up and maintaining the side of things that he does, you know? So after watching that podcast, I definitely have a whole new level of respect for that man and uh i think it's worth everybody going to watch it and stratos has just did a phenomenal job with it man the idea that he has behind the podcast and what he's doing with that podcast is awesome so definitely keep it up stratos it is definitely a very intriguing show and um i will be tuning into all of them man but once again this is lost pond mx very fast flowy fun track um and it is free it's kind of like a cross between Mouse Motor Park and um, um, 
uh, what was the other track I was just thinking of? Gosh dang it, I forgot what the other track is, uh... Ow, oh, I had a brain fart. I hate having brain farts. Anyway, I can't think of it. You've seen the gameplay. You know, you know by now if you're gonna pick it up or not. And, um, it's definitely worth it, man. So, go check it out on MXB Mods, and, uh, I'll see y'all next time, man. Peace.